What's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well. I wanted to make a quick spoiler video for you today because I'm working on some major, major things at the end of this year. There's gonna be some really cool videos coming out. One of them is I'm gonna soon have a bike in this garage that should be faster than the Citizen Cycle. It's gonna be more powerful, so keep an eye out for that. Another thing is I'm trying to create the first ever Citizen Cycle product that I might sell. So be on the lookout for that. I don't wanna to say too much yet, but I think you're really gonna like it. And then the third thing is I'm, I'm actually working on one project right now, kind of a big deal, I think. And we're gonna be modifying this Grizzly e-bike and giving it a power boost. So how do you take one of the fastest, most powerful dual motor bikes and make it faster? You add another motor, right? Three motors. Let's put a third motor on the Grizzly. That's what I'm gonna try to do today in this garage. So keep your eyes out for the finished product on this, but I figured I'd give you a heads up on what's going down. Let me show you the parts. Well, there's the Grizzly. I just changed the gearing to give it a little bit more pedal feeling, changed out the tires. And now we're gonna be adding a third motor to this bike. Never done this before, never installed a mid-drive kit. We're gonna to try to put one on the Grizzly. I wanna to try to make this bike the fastest bike off the line that exists in this garage, faster than the Citizen Cycle. I think this is the way to do it. Up in the controller, power is not gonna do it because Citizen will still be more powerful. But this spot right here, I mean, doesn't this look perfect for a mid-drive motor? It would fit right in there perfectly, I think. So we're gonna try it. I've got a BBSO2 motor. That's what's going in. It's a 750 watt Bafang motor, about 120 newton meters of torque. I know you're gonna be saying, well, why didn't you go with the thousand watt? I don't think you're gonna need the thousand watt. And plus it was like hundreds and hundreds of dollars more. So we're gonna try it with this BBSO2. I've had this motor in other bikes and they're extremely powerful, like lift the front wheel in the air powerful. And I think that's what you're gonna to need to get a great jump off the line because the rear wheel is the only wheel that really hooks and gets traction. So if you're gonna add power to this, you're gonna to need to add it on the rear wheel. This is the way to do it, I think. It's just gonna give you that leaping jump off the line. Once the gearing catches up, it'll probably become irrelevant. You know, the hub motors will take over, but this is what's gonna give you the hook off the line. This is a kit I bought. Um, I put the price on the screen for you. And it comes with the BBSO2 motor, crank arms. This is a 52 tooth front chain ring, so it's the same as what's on the Grizzly currently. You get a thumb throttle wiring harnesses, uh, comes with a headlight display, the crank puller here. I already bought a freewheel removal tool that I think I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna give this a shot. Never done it before. It doesn't look crazy hard, so that's the plan. We are going three motors on the Grizzly. So spoiler alert, you're about to see an incredible one-of-a-kind Grizzly bike that's gonna be citizenified. And then I've got some other big things coming up too. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, check back for more updates. Thank you all for watching.